guys, finally he sleeps here. This is this week in raid. All right, I'm back again. I think it's time to go back to our old logo for uh, the clan. It's been a while since we've gotten in trouble over this. So let's see how long we can keep this on the league. Uh, we've, the league, the clan, I'm in the wrong game. Um, here it is. We have green teats is actually, we're, we need some players. Uh, so if you're looking for a clan and you play every day, uh, check us out. Uh, green teats, 50,000 uh, points minimum. Actually, we don't have any player power required. Uh, but we are in need of some help as far as the clan versus clan goes. Okay, so let's talk about what is going on in the game right now. We have some stuff that is available. We have uh, Odin that is out there for the top 1% of players. Let's talk about that first. Um, in the champion train event no it's not champion train it is champion chase champion chase tournament is giving away odin fey father for first place in your group so there's a hundred players in each group when you have when you get set up into your group you have to be in the top first spot out of your section so uh you you need to be all the way up there, you have to have a minimum of 10,000 points to claim it, but that means everybody else is going to miss out on Odin Feyfather. Is it worth it? That's the question. Is it worth fighting for that top place in there? In Generally, I, I would say no. For like using all of your shards to go in for somebody like that, uh, but for Odin, and the fact that it's a chase and not a summon rush, uh, you have the ability to claim players in other places. You've got fusions. If you've got players that you haven't collected uh, for whatever reason, if you've got uh, your Doom Tower, uh, your fragments that are coming from Doom Tower, if you have some stuff saved up, if you haven't collected all of those players, then there's a possibility you could do that. Now, that's the first thing I would say. The second thing is if you look at the map, 5,500 gets you all of your uh, your points towards Thor in the Thor event, but a legendary tome and that soul up there at 10,000, if you're chasing champions and not pissing away shards, it's really not a bad idea to at least go after the 10,000 points. Depending upon what your leaderboard looks like, it's possible that that could get you up to first place or you end up in a rush and you're fighting with somebody else to be able to claim uh, that top tier. So it's going to come down to what your leaderboard looks like, who's in there, how many points you feel like the uh, that person's going to go after and um, whether or not it's worth it for you. For me, I will probably go after the 10,000 points. Doesn't mean that I will be able to claim Odin because here we are just a little bit into the event and we already have someone that is almost there at 10,000. But I have enough uh, fusion champs that are waiting and I have been, while you're going through campaign, uh, some of us actually set up a lot of reserve champs so that we can fuse towards like Relic Keeper uh, for stuff like this because it is an easy way to uh, kind of use your daily campaign runs to collect champions to use towards fusions. It's just epics, but if you can, during the time between this and the next time something like this comes up, if you can put together 10 uh, you know, relic keepers to be able to fuse, that's 2,500 points. That's a fourth of the way to the uh, top tier on here. That's where my first 250 points came from a Relic Keeper. And what I'm talking about is these fusions here that are long-standing, if you can claim these four champions uh, that come from all of the champions that are available in campaign. So when you have to use your seven campaign, your seven daily campaign uh, runs, 
Use them in one of the campaigns. Go to level 4-6 or 11-6 or 12-6 or wherever it is to grab the champions necessary to complete these fusions. So when a champion chase like this comes along or even during the actual fusions, you can claim Relic Keepers and uh, kind of work your way towards that champion chase result by just using these standard fusions. Broadmaw as well, they are both available just from champions that you're going to be able to claim free to play through here. Personally, I go after uh, Relic Keeper because it's the easiest way to do it. There is usually just a handful of these sitting in my account ready to go. Uh, that is the big thing, is Odin Father. The other thing to talk about right now is we have a free regear weekend. So if you haven't built your uh, champions or your Thor that you just fused, if you haven't done it, this is the weekend to go in and grab some of those chances to reevaluate some of the champions that you have. The Bayhammer Titan event is running right now. If you haven't used Thor, uh, he is pretty spectacular for a free fusion champion and I kind of like the way they're doing these Titan events following the fusion which is giving us a chance to come in and grab these decent five star split souls uh, that you can get by completing the milestone events. The only problem is is if you're running on the two by two method for keeping the fusions free usually you use the two weeks after the fusion to replenish your stock of resources so that when the next fusion comes along you've got everything there to do it and this is a bait to use those resources uh, so you're kind of you're kind of sol when it comes time for the fusion for the month of october now i do want to state the October fusion is usually the fusion that I must do every year because it's often Halloween themed. And who doesn't want a Halloween themed fusion? So uh, whether or not it's going to be a good fusion, we don't know. So you just need to make those decisions for yourself as to whether or not it is worth going in on this Titan event. That's it. That's this weekend raid. Uh, one last thing to mention uh, Plarium sent out a note this week about a, a promo code that has been around for a long time, but it was kind of a reminder. So if you don't play every single day and you may have missed it, make sure you use yearly gift, all one word, yearly gift. The promo code is still available. Uh, Plarium just reminded everyone to make sure you use it. Uh, that's the last note. I'm finally, he sleeps. Appreciate you guys hanging out. As long as you guys keep showing up, I'll keep making videos. Check out my other channels there as well. FC Mobile, my main channel on YouTube, which is Gearheads, and then Cringeworthy for a few laughs. Until next week, I'm finally he sleeps.